Welcome to June's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is max consecutive ones three. Given a binary array nums and an integer k, return the maximum number of consecutive ones in the array if you can flip at most k zeros. Say we're given an array like this and a k of two, our answer is gonna be six because the longest consecutive number of ones we can have is gonna be this length here. If we added uh, all ones here, this would make it a five, so that wouldn't be as long. Now my first thought was maybe we could do a some sort of bitwise solution, but I quickly abandoned that, realizing there wasn't really an efficient way to find consecutive ones using bitwise here. Uh, rather, we can just use this as an array and try to use a sliding window technique. I'll show you what I mean. Say that we had this array here and a k of 2. What we'll do is have a left pointer that starts at the very beginning, and we're going to iterate down our array and try to see if we need to flip any of these to one. If that's the case, we have to decrease our k. So as we move along, we can see that each point, we're going to subtract the right from the left and then add one. So here it's going to be one minus zero plus one. That's going to give us two, right? And we'll just continue three. Once we hit a zero though, what we'll have to do is decrease our k and well, that would be it actually. We just decrease our k. Um, and, but we'll find that at some point we'll run out of k's here. See, uh, here we've stuck to run out of k's, right? Uh, once we run out of k's, what that means is we can no longer expand this window. We have to uh, move, move our left pointer ahead uh, wherever it's pointing at this point and see if we could decrease our k. So here, this is a one. So we, even though we've inc incremented our l, we can't get rid of any zeros, right? So this continues here. So this would just continue like this. Um, now, once we hit one, we still don't have enough k's, so we'll have to keep going here. And uh, we keep moving until we find, finally, yes, we can flip a k, add one here, and this just continues on. Um, well, I think I messed this up a little bit, but as we move on here, we can finally see, yeah, we have one k left, so now our answer is gonna be six, like this. So um, let's see, what we'll have to have is a left pointer as well as store the max here. Technically, you don't even need to store the max, but I'm just gonna do it because it makes it a little bit easier to understand. Now what we'll do is say for r, which is the index number, we'll count that as the r pointer as well as the number in enumerate nums. Now first thing is, do we need to decrease anything from k? So to do that, what we can do is say one minus n, and if it's a zero, that means it's going to be a 1, we'll subtract it from k. As long as it's a 1, it's not going to do anything to k here. As soon as we find that we run out of k's, what we'll do is, uh, let's see, we'll have to see if we could add back to our k. We'll say 1 minus n. And k plus equals 1 minus n, as well as Hmm. Oh wait, it's not it's not one minus n here. It's nums l. My mistake. And we need to increase our l pointer here. Now finally store the max to be the, the max of max and r minus l plus one. Finally just return the max at the very end. So this would be a sliding sliding window technique. It should give us our answer. Let's see. Okay, it does. So let's go and submit that. And there you go. So this would be O of n time. Yeah, O of n time, and I believe it's constant space, um, n being the number of elements inside of our array. Now, one thing to note is actually you don't even need this max. What you could do is just return this here that would actually work because our window at this point should be whatever is like the maximum here. So let's make sure this also works. And there we go. So yeah, I, I think this is the best solution. Um, my first approach was to use like a queue and keep track of all the ones and zeros, uh, but I, it actually worked, but it was a little, little bit complex and had too many if else statements. This is a lot more simpler, um, ultimately, I think the sliding window technique is the way to go. So, all right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.